Welcome to today's video. This is how we're starting. What's up, guys? So the plan for today was to have an easy day, just do all the small stuff for the car, so we can have a very successful test drive. We've already kind of test drove it before, but it was knocking its face off, and I kind of just put it onto a trailer, so that doesn't really count. All right. Yeah, that was a terrible plan. But then I finished a little early, and now we're really excited and just want to see the car move under its own power. Ta-da! So we're just gonna bang it out right here. So let me get you caught up speed on what I did to get the Civic to right here. Let's check it out. All right, so this morning I put a flex fuel sensor in to get it ready to run on ethanol because pump gas cool, but we got a bunch of ethanol around. We're gonna use it. It's a stock motor, so the ethanol should really help this thing stay alive because the weak point of these engines are the pistons. Ethanol should really help with that. So flex fuel sensor's in, which means I was able to put ethanol in the car. It's a big deal. Big real big <laughs> finally got it all set up and i put our fuel hanger in and it looks awesome i'm in love with this we could even you know fill it up like here no issues and it has a hanger just kind of like an oem car but for the fuel cell and it even has like a it's all baffled everything so that should do us really well so i don't have to like have the fuel pump rigged in there very happy next i finally put a seat in the car check it out so i stole the seat out of the e36 because well that car is not really working right now but they fit beautifully in here I am so excited because I got these beautiful custom seat rails by Garage Star. I'll put the link below, check them out. But this actually allows my tall ass to fit in this little car. I was actually really worried about that because with the stock seat, I literally had to sit with my neck curled and it really freaked me out, but check this Let's out. Let's see you now. Oh yeah. Dude, look at it. I look like a normal human being now. Yeah. I could fit with a helmet. And what's really cool too, is it makes it feel like a real drive car, like sitting this low, like under the dash versus like up and over how you usually feel in front wheel drive cars, you know? Mm -hmm. I adjusted the tune, so it's idling on ethanol and we're good to go. I don't know what else to say. I'm just very excited and very nervous. Yeah. Brian, you gotta add anything to this? Um, it looks great. I'm super happy the seat fits perfectly. Come here, check this out. Um, look at that, oof. Love that. But here we go, guys. We got it all set up. And uh, honestly, I feel guilty because I started off camera, but this car is so freaking happy on ethanol. I can't wait to see it. You 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 claim it, it smokes a tad less. Quite a bit less, which really? is amazing news. Okay, I'm impressed. All right, look that fuel pump up, kid. All right, I got you. the engine is right now it's smooth it, it was even smooth with a, a chunk of metal sitting inside <laughs> <Never mind>. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just kind of running around right now because i'm just so freaking excited this is where we were supposed to be two weeks ago and it feels really awesome there's no smoke right now idling yeah. which is i can smell the ethanol it makes me happy yeah, dude, i love <laughs> it i love weird? it so much oh uh, we got the bumper back on the side skirts back on oh, the one that we have yeah we'll get the front bumper on we got lips and everything for it i'm now we can start to enjoy this stuff. I still gotta put the whole interior in. I gotta put a whole chassis harness in it, but right now it is rigged up enough that we could officially take it for its first test drive. Yeah, this is definitely where we should have been two weeks ago. I even I even uh, brought the carpet out, had that cut, so we're gonna get that to look really nice. Dude, it the the it's in sight, you know? It's finally in sight. The brakes <laughs> definitely need to be bled but they're working and that's all that matters. Yeah, all the pads are brand new, so they're not really bedded in or anything like that. Come on, put this thing in gear. I'm, I'm too excited. So freaking nervous, dude. Like, <laughs> the, the ethanol is gonna be the saving grace of this engine, you know? Um, clearly, it sounds amazing now and it's, it's smoking literally 80% less, which is unreal. So hopefully this, this that'll be the secret key to keep the stock engine together. There you go. Dude, I'm, can you tell I'm freaking out? Yeah. I love smelling the ethanol at least. All right, let's move this thing. Got it. <laughs> She's cruising, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm a little worried about the flex pipe because it's really low, but let's go for it. It's not that low. All right, here we go. Oh.
drove this car. Like when it was front wheel drive or anything. No, you just destroyed it on the trailer. Yeah, so like <laughs> my first time ever driving a Civic is this. How is it? Does it look weird from no! the outside? It no, but I'm like saying a like in a, in a weird way. Like, like no, I don't know how to it looks like a normal Civic. I know, but is it weird to see this one moving, dude? Yes. It feels yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. We're all so hyped. Like I, I think we're too excited to like even talk. I don't know. Look at this. We we created this. I mean, not the outside, but you know. It's damn cool. That's good. That's good news. Sounds good, it feels good, looks good. Look, the fender starting to destroy it. He just went forward in reverse. Cool. We can try this thing in Cali tomorrow. Oh, no, let's go right now, fuck tomorrow. <laughs> I wanna go and boost so bad, but it's scary. How's the smoke, is it, is it eh? Uh, eh? It's still there. Yeah, um, but it's better. Yeah, maybe. It's not that bad for being under load. True. So, um, I mean, it is a Civic. So, we got true. that going. We should it. have like mad smoke on diesel. No and disrespect. We, we, we love the Honda. No, you can't disrespect it, especially not in this parking lot. How does it feel? It, it, feels, it feels tight. Does it feel really like a tight. normal car, or does it feel like it's going to no, tear no. yourself in half? No, it feels like a normal car. Really? really? Which is crazy because, like, I know, like, even with like some engine swaps, it makes the chassis feel vulnerable or something yeah, it makes totally it feel weird up, yeah man. this feels so normal given i don't know what a normal one feels like but yeah and you haven't really gotten up to speed but like, i'm gonna go again go again doing much right now yeah, yeah, yeah. all right let's see what this thing's boosting at waste case spring in there because I was conservative so it's literally making like three pounds of boost which is why the waste gate is like instantly screaming yeah so it feels good though you know three pounds of boost it's probably making with this tune on it right now it's probably making 160 horsepower and it feels good I did a little tire spinner how to I shouldn't have so did it look cool it why so would you cool. say you shouldn't have <laughs> it just rotates so it it's weird to see this kind of car rotate that makes sense. all right First turn in it? What the <laughs> heck, yo? I thought he's gonna take a bush down. Oh my guy my is a pro, yo. My guy is a pro. <laughs> oh Holy man. shish kebabs. That was awesome. Bush down. Holy crap. That was, that was so awesome. <laughs> Not too shabby, huh? Oh, good. Dude, it's like maintaining temp. Yep. It, it, like, it seems really happy. 
You seem really happy. Dude, it just, I just did a freaking <laughs> peel in his, I literally just did like a clutch kick in a Honda Civic. How did that look? Awesome. Oh my God. It sounded crazy. It's not. <laughs> Look what he did to the fender. Look what he did to the fender. Oh, oh he, he got a gun. Pull it out, man. So, hey, it looked worse when we got the car, so. <laughs> really hot. I think it ran out of gas. <laughs> Perfect timing. I cannot, oh my god. It's weird, dude. Oh my god, I hope you got it good on camera. Do it again, do it again. If not, you gotta, see, you gotta send that clip to me. We need two angles of that. It, but it looks so comfy. It does. Like it felt, I mean, given it was just like a little, a little U-turn. It's, like, it's it, like really, almost, I wanna say boaty. Yeah, it's, it's a long car. Yeah. Check it, oh, here we go. Run it. You want, a you don't want the smoke. Up. Well, I wasn't anticipating doing that today, but peer pressure is one hell of a, one hell of a thing. Okay. New spring. Yeah. New spring. Up the boost, real quick. <laughs> we'll go back out. <laughs> Man, I really hope this engine lasts because I need to do a couple more of those before <laughs> taking it apart again. We got we got to raise up the whole car, like yeah, no, I want it more three quarters of an inch. <laughs> Is that what you just said? Man, that was awesome. How did it feel? Planted, which is crazy. You know? I know. I was I sat in the car with you, and I was like surprised. The suspension, actually, for what it is right now, and we haven't changed any of the spring rates mm -hmm. at all. This is just 240 stuff right now. Yeah. It feels good. It does feel There's really no good. harshness. No. Like you were hitting the cracks in the pavement and like it felt it felt clean. Like it yeah. felt like my BMW. You literally, know what I literally. mean? Like the BC's out too. But yeah. I mean it's cool because like when you start changing stuff on, up on cars, the feeling of them starts to change quick. And it's really hard to almost maintain a balanced feeling car once you start swapping a lot of stuff because I mean these things are designed so precisely. Yeah, and it, I mean it might sound crazy, like you know th that we can get an idea of what it might be like just around this parking lot but you really can like, yeah 100%. after driving enough setups like you can tell that this thing once we raise it up and get it slightly more functional height but uh, i think it's gonna drive super awesome did a first gear and a second gear pull and already with that i have gained so much confidence in the setup and uh honestly i am feeling insanely relieved after that one i know and with no alignment at all like it's it's driving good like you know what i mean it, like you didn't step on the gas and it didn't jerk yeah, exactly, jerk left exactly. and then you didn't hit the brakes and it didn't go right like i clutch kicked it and it just went Shoo. yeah you you were a little risky for the first time i'm not gonna lie i haven't seen the outside footage but from inside the car it felt like we were pretty close to uh, the curb no panic let's go nope, let's go no at the marks <laughs> yeah we should look at the marks you're right listen how long is the rear bumper okay Probably this long. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> Damn. This is sick. It's been so cool. Remember, dude. you heard me earlier? We did this. The fun starts now. Right? Isn't that like. It's way more fun uh, working on a project that runs a drive. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> Brian's got his booster I just, seat. I'm going to test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it, dude. Mine's a little dusty. Sorry. <laughs> Can you fit? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, you look comfy. That's good. This thing is sick. Yeah, I don't even have the back pad. Maybe if I put the back pad, it'd be even tuncher. Oh man, this was overwhelming today. Um, the amount of anxiety and happiness mixed together is just ridiculous, but it stayed cool. Nothing's leaking, everything's still connected. It feels unreal, the chassis feels tight. You guys keep hearing us yell about it, but today was a big day and uh, now we need to get this thing fully together so we could really get on it. I'll probably do the chassis harness first, get everything set, then bring it to the dyno and then we'll make the power we need to make, and then we could like really, really go drive the thing. Sounds like a freaking plan. And once the chassis harness is in, then we could really start 
Assign finalizing yeah, all the other little interior details. I cannot wait else. for full interior. Same. For now, uh, this is amazing. Um, I'm excited. And Lock City has Drift event in like three weeks. Is that perfect timing or am I, you know? We gotta hustle. We gotta hustle. I got this. I like how good I look. Do you think I could do it? It's about a month. I honestly, I'm, 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 I was thinking about it. What do you think, Jimmy? You look good. I, I had a Honda once. Live City. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> it feels what? really nice to me. Why are you yelling at me? It's very what? clean inside. What? It's a freaking car now, dude. trying to shut the key off. I was like, why won't this thing turn <laughs> off? <laughs> Well, the uh, the coils are definitely breaking in. <laughs> Dude, she's like at least a half inch lower. I know, it looks so good. I wish I could leave it like this. It looks, eh. Maybe I'll try. Can't. All right, well, um, we just did a bunch of talking, but I, but I think all our faces hurt from smiling so much. So, uh, man, time to uncover the next can of worms with this thing. All right, we were just talking about that. Uh, today feels like a great success. Uh, we should quit while we're ahead <laughs> before we find the next problem on this thing. But, but uh, let's go get some victory dinner. <laughs> Sounds good. Perfect. All right, so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And, well, have a great night. Peace.